here we are back in Dreamfall Chapters. We are playing as Sokka and looking for the wards. So I don't know what the wards look like, but I guess we'll figure it out. Hugsy! I've had Hugsy since I was little. Yeah. Mama gave him to me, and I remember falling asleep, hugging him tight every night after she went away. I can't remember the last time we lit a fire. We used to do that all the time, roast marshmallows and sausages and tell scary stories. But yeah, things changed. It's a dusty little place. What's with the eyeglasses? That's weird. Papa's usually so fastidious about keeping his eyeglasses with him at all times. I'll just borrow them for a minute or 12. Okay. Find the first ward. Do I have to put them on? There we go. Okay, that's what a ward looks like. Oh wow, I see one of the wards. So that's how Papa maintains them. The magic's in his glasses. I mean, of course it is, it's dab magic. Still, it's pretty cool. Ow! Sorry. Sorry, did I break your head? Yes. Do you have to carry me across the threshold? We'd be tempting fate if I don't. We need to do this right. Watch your head now. There, we have officially moved in. Welcome home, sweetheart. Oh, my head's hurting. Let me kiss it. Where does it hurt? There? Mm, that helped. Oh, she's moving. She's kicking, Magnus. Here, give me your hand. Can you feel it? She's happy to be home. Hello, Saga. Welcome home, baby girl. Balance. So that's what the wards are made of. Fragments of the past. Memories. No wonder they're so strong. They're charged with powerful emotions. Some might be red herrings, though, to make the wards harder to crack. I need to untangle the specific memories that tie the wards together. Easy. Saga, no, don't draw on the floor. You might damage it. This house is sacred. It's a living thing just like you and me. You must never hurt our home. Can you promise me that, baby? No, Hunksy. You killed Hunksy, Papa. It's just his arm. I didn't kill him. I just... I... I maimed him slightly. I'll sew it right back on, okay? He'll be good as new, I promise. Poor Hunksy. He'll never be the same. He'll be a cripple. He's a survivor, just like us. He'll be fine. Magnus, Saga, look! Snow! It's snowing! Beautiful. First snowfall in our new home. The first of many firsts. I hope you grow up to love this house, Saga. We built it for us. For our tiny family. Look! Etta, she's smiling. I think she understood you. Honey, please. I'm not in a state to be photographed. Oh, come on, sweetheart. It's the first week in a brand new home. This, this needs to be commemorated. Oh, I feel so bloated. Fine, just let me... There. Ready. Hurry up. <laughs> Careful! Ow! Sorry. Sorry, did I break your head? Yes. Do you have to carry me across the threshold? We'd be tempting fate if I don't. We need to do this right. Watch your head now. There, we have officially moved in. Welcome home, sweetheart. Oh, my head's hurting. 
Let me kiss it. Where does it hurt? There? Mm, that helped. Oh, she's moving. She's kicking, Magnus. Here, give me your hand. Can you feel it? She's happy to be home. Hello, Saga. Welcome home, baby girl. Oh, honey, please. I'm not in a state to be photographed. Oh, come on, sweetheart. It's the first week in a brand new home. This, this needs to be commemorated. Oh, I feel so bloated. Fine, just let me... There. Ready. Hurry up. Papa usually sleeps for another hour or so. Plenty of time for mischief and mayhem. There's another ward. This ward feels too strong. It's supported by the others. I shall begin with one of them. It's very difficult to paint anything that isn't in this house when I have to work from memory or from pictures and books. That's the final ward. The house will draw us both back if we ever get lost. That's what it does. It's what it's for. And you're sure we can trust it? Are you questioning my building skills? I don't want to lose you again. You won't. It's safe to leave, Etta. You'll find your way back and we'll be safe here. Both of us. All three of us. When that one arrives. 
Oh, and not a moment too soon. I am so over being pregnant. Speaking of which, I'm starving again. I'll mix you. Please don't. I can feel the magic. It's cold like the winds on the paths. We have to wall it up, Magnus. It's dangerous. What if Sog- I know. I will. I promise. Tomorrow after you've left, I'll get right to it. Could there be more like it? More gaps? More- I don't know, Etta. I hope not. I'll take care of it, I promise. I really don't want to leave right now. You'll be back soon. Everything will work out. The house will take care of us all. Look, she's sleeping. Oh, that's so cute. Your music lulled her to sleep, honey. I didn't think my guitar playing was that bad. I was going for rousing. Well, it hasn't put me to sleep yet. Come here. Come here. Hey, is there anything you want me to bring back this time? Do we have to talk about that right now? I'm leaving tomorrow. I don't like it when you leave. That doesn't feel right. I don't think those are the right memories. Does Papa know you're here? I don't think Papa knows. Don't worry. It'll be our little secret. That didn't work. I may need to pick different memories. This ward is about loss. They used Papa's and my memories of Mama to leave the ward. There's pain here. And, and anger. Uncle Galeth helped put these wards up after the last time I went walking. Papa claims they protect us, but all they do is keep me from opening doorways. They don't trust me. I need to find a weaker ward before tackling this one. They're all connected. When's Mama coming home? I honestly don't know if she ever will, sweetheart. But she is out there somewhere? I think so. Hey, is there anything you want me to bring back this time? Do we have to talk about that right now? I'm leaving tomorrow. I don't like it when you leave. Okay, we got that one. That's two down. Find the third ward, and we found that already in the bedroom. Right here. She's so perfect. I could stare at her for hours. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night, and I go in here just to look at her. She is perfect. You leaving before she wakes up? I have to, while the paths are still there. They're stable now, but that might change. I can't risk waiting. Watch over her for me, okay? Keep her safe? Of course. 
Always and forever. I promise. Come here. I love you. Always and forever. And I'll be back. I pinky promise. Okay, we gotta break the third ward. Um... Here's our memories. How can I paint a rainbow if I haven't seen one? I can't paint something I haven't seen. And I'm not allowed to go anywhere, so I'll never see one. But there are pictures of rainbows in your books. Can't you paint from those? It's not the same. I want to see a rainbow with my own eyes. Oh, it's red and blue, just like my drawing. It's exactly what I wished for. Thank you, Papa. You're welcome, baby girl. So, Gareth wrote to say he's visiting soon. That's good, right? We haven't seen him for a while. It's good. I just... Sometimes I get the feeling he only visits because of Saga. Well, he is her godfather. He adores her. Just be grateful she has someone to talk to, Magnus. The stars know she must be sick and tired of us. Why is it called homework? I'm always home. What do you mean? Why is it homework when I never go anywhere? I think it should be called just work. Uh, good question. And you're right. I need you to clean up and then do your work. All right. Okay, I think it's about like her leaving or travel or something like that. The hat and the painting. No, that's not right either. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we have a rocket ship over here. Let's see what it says. Ground control to Major Tom. Who's Major Tom, Papa? Huh? Oh, I don't know. Where did you hear that name? I think it's a traveler who travels to the moon. Like Mama. I don't think Mama went to the moon, Saga. But you know what I mean. Someone who travels far away to see new things. Like an, an adventure. Okay, let's try that one. And so, Gareth okay, so wouldn't wouldn't be the hat. Soon. That's good, right? We haven't seen him for a while. It's good. I just... Sometimes I get the feeling he only visits because of Saga. Well, he is her godfather. He adores her. Just be grateful she has someone to talk to, Magnus. The stars know she must be sick and tired of us. Okay, I think it's the painting. And maybe the books? That was it. That's all the wards, and Papa's still asleep. He won't be happy when he wakes up. I need to get out of here before then, or he might lock me in the downstairs for a week. So I'll just open a doorway and... It's not working. Why is it not working? All the wards are gone, what's stopping me now? My chest feels warm. Wait, am I glowing? Oh, I'm stopping me. This is for you, Saga. It belonged to my mother. Keep it close to your heart and know that I'll always be thinking of you, no matter where I am. Even if I'm... Oh, baby girl. You don't understand what I'm saying. But you will remember when you most need it. 
don't let anything or anyone hold you back. All worlds, all of time are yours to explore. And as long as you are this, I will find you. I promise. Thank you. I love you. Oh, there Goodbye. you go. And we opened a shift. Saga. Saga. Saga, where in the world are you? Saga! <laughs> Alex, no, please, no. No, all is well. Don't take her from me. Please don't. I can't do this again. I cannot do this again. <laughs> Please! <laughs> Saga! Book four, Dreamfall Chapters, Revelations. All your decisions have been recorded for book five. Okay, let's see what they are. Kian Albani Ovik was arrested by the Azadi because I failed to return the pipe worker's tools. But I tried to, I thought I did. Ah uh, well, I can only hope that he won't be further punished for my inattentiveness. Your decisions in book three have played out in book four and will continue to have repercussions. Okay, Zoe, I didn't tell Brian Westhouse why I was in the abode or where I'm going. I feel a bit bad about not trusting him, but it's not like he needed to know. And uh, he didn't ask, so I guess he didn't care. Zoe, I couldn't let Westhouse stay in the abode by himself. I was entrusted with the key, and it would have felt weird to leave it unlocked. But Brian seemed a little put out by that. Kian, against Shepard's wishes, I brought Liko with me to Gan. He was a good companion, and he proved himself useful, but I hope his absence from Markyria did not cause the Resistance any problems. And it did, actually. Liko and I had time to connect during the, our journey to Gan. I feel we're closer now, and that we may even become friends in the future. Inu was seriously hurt in the attack on the Enclave, but Nani was there to heal her wounds. The Zid will survive. I revealed no secrets to the Yaga. In the end, she gave me the Soul Stone anyway, but those memories remained to haunt me more than ever. Should I have relinquished them? Wow. Book 5, Dreamfall Chapters, Redux. Chapter 12, Recall. So, I'm guessing that the whole thing about being in the other city and back with um, my boyfriend and everything was just dreaming. And now I've really woken up. Zoe, you're awake. What? Wonkers, get off me. Oh, what time is it? Wait, where? Where am I? 
You're in the hospital, Zoe. In Casablanca. Don't you remember? I... No. You got really sick, and they brought you here to make you better. I've been watching over you. You've been in a coma for a long, long time. I'm... I'm not sure. I'm confused. You just woke up, Zoe. It must be strange to be awake again. Don't worry. It'll pass. You just need to rest. Go back to sleep now. I'll watch over you. Wonkers, you don't sound like yourself. You've been very sick, Zoe. You can't trust yourself right now. Hmm. Just close your eyes and go back to sleep. You'll feel much better afterwards. No, Something I, is I, weird, I can't huh? sleep anymore. I wouldn't recommend that, Zoe. You're not well. You need to go back to sleep. I need to get up. I wouldn't recommend that, Zoe. You're not well. You need to go back Stop to sleep. Stop it, Wonkers! Something's going on with Are you Wonkers. you tired, Zoe? You must be tired. Let's go back to sleep. I'll stay right here. I promise I won't ever leave you. No, I don't want to sleep anymore. You're not feeling well. I can tell. You're exhausted. And you're seeing things that aren't real. I... I don't know what's wrong, but it's not me. It's this place. It's you, Wonkers. You're all wrong. That hurts my feelings, Zoe. Yeah, he usually wants to play. Over 200 unread posts. So I was more popular in a coma than when I was awake. Encouraging. Flowers from Liv. Okay. Thanks for joining us. Things are generally going very well today. Wouldn't you say so, Merrick? Incredibly well, Rika. We'll soon be out of jobs, the both of us. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't mind one bit, Merrick. Following up on yesterday's heart Our fifth anniversary. Reza and I took the backtracks to Norway and a hydrofoil to Svalbard. We spent a long weekend travelling around the island. And 10%. Impressive, That's Rika, me, in Cape Town. Has changed everything. An end to war, an end to violence... It's a card from Karen. Property. What are we doing here, Marek? We should be in Dreamtime too. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, Rika, you said it. What he called has also announced that... All that beach and sunshine and I'm locked inside. Dreamers for children in need worldwide. Jardin de Roses. Home, sweet home for most of my tumultuous teenage years. Joy and happiness inside Dreamtime. Outstanding. Just another reason why Watty Corp is... Graduation like day in front of Jammy Hall. Say that. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten this. I won a competition. Second place, I think. Jammer was so proud. Prouder than my dad, perhaps. Definitely prouder than me. No, this isn't really me anymore. Does it have to do with Reza? We always talked about going to Svalbard. It's such an incredible place. So majestic and so alien. And I was totally geeking out about going inside the Doomsday Vault. Five years together. Almost hard to believe. Except Things that... have been rocky between us from time to time. It's amazing that we... that we lasted this long. I remember we stayed at the... Uh... What was the name of that place again? And See, that's a false it? memory, huh? I don't... I don't remember... any of it. Uh, what just happened? That was it. I knew that was it. It's weird, but I remember nothing from the trip, aside from talking to Reza about it and this photo. We were there, and we've been together for five years, have, haven't we? Okay, that was not just in my head. Something's definitely going on. Okay, let's find some other false memories. I remember that day. We had one of our dad and daughter days. We walked around exploring the city, we went to a museum, and then we ate an amazing buffet dinner at the Wati Plaza Hotel downtown. 
What about this letter from Liv? I'm so happy to have Olivia Del Marco in my life. An alien the cat is hands down the best electronic shop in Casablanca. But I she can't died. Wait to go back. When was the last time I visited her shop? That was ages ago. Did it close down? I I remember something about shit. Am I losing my mind or is reality glitching? Something happened to her to live. Something terrible. Now I'm officially freaked out. Olivia, she's dead. I know it. I feel it. There we go. Okay. So we need to pick this one up too? No. No, this is wrong. This feels all wrong. Okay, what about mom and dad? I remember falling in love with the place as soon as we got there. It had all these nooks and crannies, a balcony and my own room with an awesome view. There were so many hiding places. Me and, and okay, mom. Okay, too many memories. We played hide and seek all the time. Karen's nice. She's been a good friend and she makes great coffee. It's a card from Karen. That keeps wiggling. When she came after me, she would stomp her feet and shout. What was it she'd say again? I... I don't actually remember her voice that well. Or her face. Or that she was there with Dad and me. Mum was... She wasn't... Where was she? Here we go. Karen's nice. She's been a good friend, and she makes great coffee. Okay, where's another false memory? Dad and me in Casablanca. Dad's been away a lot, traveling, but we're still very no, close. No, you're not very close. I remember that day. We had one of our dad and daughter days. We walked around exploring the city, we went to a museum, and then we ate an amazing buffet dinner at the Wati Plaza Hotel downtown. Dad and me in Casablanca. Dad's been away a lot, traveling, hmm. but we're still very close. Maybe she didn't really... I'd almost forgotten this. I won a competition. Second place, I think. Jama was so proud. Prouder than my dad, perhaps. Definitely prouder than me. I'd almost forgotten this. I won a competition. Second Cape Maybe Town this University one? has the most beautiful views. I spent so many lazy afternoons with friends. No, because she left Cape Town to come feeling home. Like the end of my bioengineering degree was impossibly far away. I can't believe I actually made. Come to think of it, I don't remember there much. There we go. I was there. I was wearing a gown, but who else was there? Dad, Reza, and. What was the ceremony like? I just can't remember. Weird. Something's wrong. The whole graduation thing, something's definitely wrong here. Another false memory. Maybe Rez is the last thing, or Wonkers. Good old Wonkers. For as long as I can remember, he's been there for me. Like a surrogate sibling and guardian. Best gift ever. But there's something not quite right about him. I can't put my finger on it, but he's not... Not really wonkers. No? Hmm. 
We talked about going to Svalbard, but we never did. We broke up, and that trip Oh, there we go. That's what happened. we're supposed to do. What are you doing, Zoe? You shouldn't be on your feet. Come on. I'll tuck you in and read you a little story. Just like in the old days. Okay. So we need to examine each one of these and find out Liv the truth had about them. She's dead. She never sent me a get well card. You don't look well, Zoe. You're probably seeing things. Please lie down, just for a minute. I'll watch over you. I'll sing for you. Helena was never part of our lives. It was just me and Dad. She abandoned us when I was an infant. This isn't helping anyone, Zoe. You're just going to ruin everything. Please stop. Please go back to bed. Go back to sleep, Zoe. I didn't graduate. I dropped out. I mean, sometimes I wish I hadn't. But this is a false memory. Yep. Okay, is there one more, Wonkers? Oh my god. This isn't real. This place is a, a hallucination or a projection. I need to get out of here. Look what you've done. Why couldn't you just leave things be? We could be happy here to- Something's wrong. This place and you. You're all wrong. You're not you. That doesn't make any sense, Ellie. Of course I'm me. I've always been me. Wonkers, your old friend. Your best friend in the whole world. You look the same, but you don't act the same, and you don't sound the same. It's like... like someone put you together from memory, but they didn't get the details right. They didn't know you like I know you, and they probably figured it wouldn't matter. That's what's wrong with this whole place. It's made of memories, and some of them are not right. Europolis, Arcadia, I wasn't dreaming. They were real. This is the dream, or a dream made physical by me. I made this, and I can see through it. But I'm real, Zoe, aren't I? Of course you are, Wonkers. Of course you're real. Are you sure you don't want to play a game? We haven't played a game in Yeah, so that's long. starting to sound more like him. I'm sorry, Wonkers. Okay, then. Promise to wake me up later? I promise. Nighty night. I'll miss you too, buddy. Okay, we got out of that. Or I thought we did. Can we leave now? Oh, we have to find the way. There it is, right there. Okay, this is interesting. And very bright. Three days ago. Vid, stop that. It's not a toy. You could kill someone. Someone you don't want to kill. Send 
for a healer, you cretins! My legs are broken! What do we do with her? I haven't decided yet. We have enough on Sister Alessandra to hold a summary court-martial and execute her. Or we send her to Sadia to stand trial. She'll face death. Or worse, a solitary life sentence in the black hole. To be honest, I think that decision should be yours. Hmm. She's murdered thousands, and she believes she's righteous. Nothing will be gained from sparing her life. She must stand trial, but we don't know what's happening in Sadia. Someone may want to protect her, and we can't bring her with us to Mercuria. Our people must know the truth. Alessandra needs to stand trial for what she's done in Sadia. She must Let's stand. Go here. What if we leave her here? Leave her? Do you think that's a good idea, Kian? Her crimes are against magicals. Let them decide what to do with her. I can't imagine they'll show her any mercy. Very well, Kian. I'll leave Sister Alessandra in the hands of her prisoners. May the goddess have mercy on her soul. Let me go, you fools. You're doing the shadow's work. Uh, uh, goddess, uh, help me. Oh, it hurts. What now, Kian? We go back, and we end this. Can I count on your help? You can. When I followed you here, I had no idea. I had my suspicions. I don't trust Vamon and Saya. They've been lying to us, and they're planning something. But I was blinded by faith and my trust in the Council. I followed you so that I could arrest you, kill you if necessary, to have my eyes open this way. A veil's been lifted, all thanks to you, and the Dolmari, of course. Your man, Liko. I failed you. I failed our nation. And I'm sorry for that, Kia, for distrusting you. I should have known better. He should have known better than to brand me a traitor. But I understand why he made that mistake. Our friendship may never be the same, but we need to put this behind us and move on. I'm disappointed in him. He should know me better than to think I would knowingly betray my people. Oh, he should have known him. better than... I gave you reason to doubt me. I'm not so sure about that, Kian. I acted rashly and... General... Harmy. I forgive you. Huh. There's one thing I must know. Who told you that Liko and I had gone to Guyenne? Mother Utana. Don't ask me how she knew. Well, she has her sources. She urged me to follow you. Hmm. She wanted you to see this with your own eyes. Perhaps so, but how would she know what I'd find here? She trusted me. Yes, although, if she already knew the truth, why did she say nothing? It wouldn't have been better to keep me in Mercurio and arrest Vamon and Sion. I'm sure she had her reasons, Harmy. Is your cloud ship ready to bring us back? The fastest ship in the fleet. We'll be there in less than three days. Enough time to lay plans along the way. I need your most trusted men to fight alongside the rebels, against Vamon's troops. They will. There are fewer of us than there are of them, but we have the light on our side. We'll follow your command, Kian. To the first mountain, if it be so. What about the Dolmari? Liko? He's speaking to the prisoners. He'll accompany us. I'll send for him. Liko will expect his people to be brought back to Mercuria, or given free passage to wherever they want to go. I give you my word, as soon as the conflict has been resolved. We'll have to leave young Bip with his parents, or I'm sure he'll try to sneak on board our ship. Bip, time to go. On the Reap Moon's Eve. Everything's ready for the ceremony, Your Excellency. The engineers have informed me that the engine is ready. Whenever you wish to begin. My men have been posted around the city, ready to handle any unrest. Though I don't expect any. This being Reap Moon's Eve, most of the peasants will be too drunk to pay attention. Is there anything else you need, Prophet? 
You've done all I've asked. With the general way, there will be fewer distractions to worry about. We know who the, the prophet is. I bet anything. The has proven itself a loyal servant to the goddess. The support in Sadia has been unwavering. I'm suspecting it's I'm Brian. pleased with your work. Thank you, prophet. We live to serve the goddess. Where is the first? In her room, praying for the success of our mission. She did not want to overshadow this ceremony with her presence. Her humility makes her a worthy one of the six. You deserve all the glory tonight, sister. You and the commander, of course. When I activate the engine, a new era will begin. We will shape this world according to the wishes of the goddess. Magic will finally be eradicated. The transition may cause fear and unrest for a time, but I trust you to handle this with authority and efficiency. Of course. I must prepare. When I am ready, I'll send word to you. You will have the privilege of telling the people of this city they're witnessing the birth of a new era. Hami has returned. With Kian. He's joined the Resistance. What? Who told you this? They've been trying to recruit my men. Some have turned, but most have not. Why didn't you inform the Prophet? and have him cast us from the top of the tower. We'll handle this. The Prophet will never know. Mother Utana and the First, they can't know either. They might interfere. You take care of them. I will take care of the Resistance and Harmy. Once and for all. Soon it won't even matter. Tonight, once the engine is active. We take control, yes, I know. I, I just... We didn't need this. Not when we're so close. After all that Don't we... worry yourself, sire. Proceed as planned. Yes. Yes. Long ago, when I was a boy, exploring the mountains close to my village, I met an old Dolmari man, herding his stone goats. Our two people were officially at war, but there were still Dolmari tribes near our village and some trade between humans and magicals. The old man spoke with kindness, fed me dried fruits and goat's milk, and told me I had magic in me, just like his grandchildren. When I returned home and told my mother, she commanded me to never speak a word of this to my father. And then she leaned in and whispered something in my ear I'll always remember. Magic, she said, is a part of everything. Magic is in the wind and rain, the stones and the ocean. It's in me, my mother said. And. It's in you, your heart, your mind, your blood. We've been at war with magic for most of my life, but I've never forgot my mother's whispered words. And I've always felt it in me, felt that magic's a part of me. For decades, I've fought it, denied it, rejected it. Tonight, that fight ends and another begins. This is no longer a war between humans and magicals. This is a battle for the very soul of our world. If you will have me, if you accept us, we stand with you all. We fight at your side. Tonight, we put aside our differences, our history, our grievances, and we stand united as one. Humans and Magicals, Azadi and Northlanders, 
we are all Arcadians. Our eyes have been opened to the truth of what's being done to magicals. The Prophet has deceived the Azadi people. The engine is a weapon aimed at us all. We don't yet know what this ceremony will bring, but if we don't act tonight, in the face of death, we shall live to regret it tomorrow. General Hami will lead sorties against Vamon's men, force their surrender, and push through to the commander and sister Sire. Those who refuse to lay down their arms, we fight. As hard as it will be to strike at your own brothers, there's no other choice. Your goal is to apprehend Sire and Vamon, alive if possible, dead if necessary. You'll take your commands from the general. Any misgivings you may have must be put to rest now. I trust Hami with my life. And tonight, so shall you. Anik will lead a team to Coldstone to free Ulvik and the imprisoned rebels, along with Benrime Salmin, who risked her life aiding the resistance. The engine must be destroyed. We don't know what it's truly for or how it works, but the Prophet means to reshape the world using its powers. This isn't magic. It's something darker than sorcery. Something older and infinitely more dangerous. Let's stop it. Let's stop them all from destroying our world. From destroying magic. Let's do this in the memory of our absent comrades. Shepard, Bob who can see, there's been enough death. Come back alive. You've received your assignments. Prepare to move out. And when this night is over, let's all return here to watch the sun rise on a new Mercuria. Okay, so it's like simulating the real world with Wadikor. You know what to do, Kian? Fadaus will shut down the engine from the control room near the green. In order to do that, he needs me inside the tower. You'll go oh, alone. There we go. I've been inside before. It will be easier on my own. Anna and Enu will escort Fadaus and keep him safe. I wish we could fight side by side tonight, but your task is more important. And more perilous. You'll have the resistance by your side. I couldn't ask for better company. My men won't flinch from their duty. When they learned what was being done to the non-humans, and what the camps were for. I wish there was time to spread the truth further. But instead, we're forced to fight our own. We can only hope that most choose to surrender, rather than remain loyal to Vamon. I'm sure they will, once they find themselves facing you. Civil war is a terrible thing, Hami. Most men shy from it. I don't envy you your task tonight. We do what we must. Goddess protect you, Kia. If all goes well, we'll talk again soon. We shall. Okay, off we go. I guess we need to get inside the tower. Do we want to talk to anybody first? That was a really good speech. I'm sure someone's going to put that into play someday. You know, one of those stirring, heroic monologues before the final act. Before everyone... Um, dies? I'm not saying everyone's going to die, I'm just saying... Shepard. She would have approved. I hope so. Oh, she would. She knew you'd step up and take over one day. And she cared for you. As, you know, a friend. I don't think Shepard would. I mean, you and her? With you, you know, and her, you know. Major, major compatibility issues. When this is over, we'll honor her memory. I'm sure Shepard will care more about us seeing this through than being memorialized. She stayed behind when her people left the Northlands to give us Magicals a chance of winning, of surviving. That is all that mattered to her. Tonight's for Shepard, then. For Bob who can see. For all who were lost. And for those of us still alive. Let's not forget those of us still alive. For all of us. Yeah. I'm really scared. I mean, I wouldn't tell anyone else, but I really am. I do not want to die. I know I keep telling people I'm ready to die, but... I know. And I can't tell you that won't happen. Because it might. 
Great. Good to know. Very comforting. If I do die, then at least I died for something. Right? Something important? My life had meaning. That's something, right? Right. Well, good luck, Kian. What is it you people say? I hope your goddess smiles on you. And to be honest, on me as well. I mean, she's not my goddess, but I'd still appreciate a smile of just the tiniest smirk. Maybe a wink? Basically, any kind of acknowledgement will do. I want to be in good standing with all gods, goddesses, and non-gendered deities tonight. Oh. Boy, she doesn't shut up. There's Liko. Let's say something to him. That was a good speech. They will follow you to their deaths if necessary. I hope that won't be needed. It's enough to know that we stand united. It's what we've been fighting for. And I no longer have to feel torn between two worlds. Thank you for trusting me, Liko. For convincing me to bring you to Guyen. I... I consider you my brother, Liko. Stay safe tonight. Okay. All right. Everyone looks ready. Let's do this. For Shepard. For Shepard. For Bob who can see. For all who were lost. For family. Family. Take care, brother. May your God <coughs> smile upon you tonight. Oh, we shifted the balance again. Let's talk to Fernow. Ferdows. Nope, I guess not. So much is on that man's shoulders tonight. I hope they're stronger than they look. Those shoulders don't look very strong. Okay, off we go. Oh, Anna. Anna. Elena, we haven't... Yeah, it's fine. I'm not... Talked and... Sorry, what were you saying? Nothing. Uh, don't worry about it, Kian. Really. I'm glad you're back and in one piece. We have a job to do. We can talk after. Good, yes. After. We really should. Anu and I will escort Ferdows to the engine house in the green. We'll watch over him while he does whatever it is that he needs to do. Kian, are you sure we can trust him? Do we have a choice? Yes, I, I believe we can. Okay. He'll be ready when you found your way into the tower. Something Hami said. Uta Did you tell Utana about Guyen? I... Uh, all right. Yes. Yes, I did. It was... I did it to help you. I trust the mother. I always have, ever since... Well, you know, you and her. You saved my life half a lifetime ago. I'm sorry for trying to help. If you hadn't told Utana, I'd be dead now. So, thank you. No, see? That's it. Thank you. <laughs> we might never see each other again, and... I can't give her what she desires most. But I can't. I can't give her everything she's hoping for. But I can't... Oh, I that's can't. cancer. Hey, whoa, what? I'm just trying no, to... No, just... No, that's not... Sorry. Don't do that. I'm sorry for... All right, uh... Are we leaving soon? Because if we wait much longer, I'm afraid I'll just curl up into a ball and be of no use to anyone. The streets are crowded with revelers, and the Azadi are staying out of their way. There's no better time. This whole reaping thing is giving them the willies. It's way too pagan for our pious occupiers. I'll find a way into the heart of the tower. And we'll stand by and wait for you to contact us. You still believe you can shut the engine down remotely, for Daz? With your help? Unless they've disconnected the pipes. Yes, I believe so. I know they're still waiting on the final calculations to be sent to the tower, so if we hurry... Then let's not waste any more time. Just get inside the tower and find the engine and contact us via the speaking tube. I'll walk you through the steps needed for me to take control, and then I'll force the engine to crash. Crash? Crash! crash. Wait, what's happening now? Why are we all saying crash? Has there been an accident? <laughs> If we feed it the wrong instructions, the engine will stop working. Like a, a, a cloud ship that, um, crashes into a mountainside. It's complicated, but really quite easy. We'll have to take your word for it. I've worked on the engine for years. I know how it operates. Are you guys ready? I am so ready. I mean, not really, because I have no idea what we're doing, but I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Not that I feel ready. I prefer fighting an enemy I can see, and I... I don't understand what this engine is, or how Ferdow's plans to stop it, or what it's doing, but... So how about it, guys? Let's go. Be safe, Keon. 
If you die, I'll be very cross with you. Okay, off we go to find our way into the tower. Um, it's this way. Gather around. A most joyful Reap Moon's Eve to you all. Witness. A magical abomination has appeared among us on this holiest of holy nights. It's an affront to decency and humanity. A foul, feathered, chattering... He's crow. Foul! Okay, joke's on me. Open this cage right now. It speaks with the voice of the great necromancer. The voice of the what now? Hold your breath, feathered servant of the shadow. Keep your obscene beak shut. Can't argue with the obscene beak bit, but I'm not liking this whole bonfire thing you've got going on. I smell charred feathers. Soon the grand ceremony begins, and the great engine ushers in a new age of reason, logic, and humanity. And an end to sorcery. We cannot let this foul heresy poison the night with its squawks and feathery filth. This false foul mocked me once before and caused a fellow follower, a fair friend of the cause, great physical pain and discomfort. The man may never be able to drink without dribbling again, all because of this... this freak of nature. I, Honor Hilaris, Candidate and faithful servant of humanity will personally light the bonfire to rid Mercuria of this final remnant of diseased magic, honoring our ancient human traditions. And you gibbering coward! When are you going to shut up and just go away? People are sick and tired of your racist tirades. If anyone here should be burned on that bonfire, it's you. Killing that poor bird is the complete opposite of what the reaping's all about. How dare you claim to represent humanity when there's nothing human about you at all? Hear, hear! And you! You're supposed to be keeping the peace, aren't you? When were you planning to put a stop to this? Are you just gonna let that madman burn birds and incite violence in the city you've sworn to protect? We do not intervene in local tradition, madam. Oh, do intervene. No one here would mind it one bit, I'm sure. Local tradition? Local tradition? This farce has absolutely nothing to do with local tradition. We don't burn poor defenseless animals in bonfires on Reek Moon's Eve. Well, it's not an animal, is it? What? I mean, it's magical. It's, it's a talking bird. Not an animal, per se. Technically, the man is not wrong. I'll give him that. Of course, it's an animal. Magical or not, it's a living creature, and you should put a stop to this right now. Uh, yeah, what she said. Sorry, madam, but unless an actual human is being armed, we cannot intervene. Ruddy coward. That goes for the lot of you, especially that pig. Cowards! Okay, we need to save Crow. Hello, certain poor, misguided individuals seem to be of the opinion that we should be protecting magicals rather than protecting humanity. What do you want, Bird? I, I don't have time for... I know you. I've seen engravings. You're Keon. Keep your voice down. Where did you see those engravings? I spent some time in Sadir. I'm Crow, friend of April Ryan and Zoe Castillo. 
You were a friend of April. Friend, partner, sidekick. I came back to Markyria to find you, believe it or not. And since you're the reason I'm in this predicament, you have to help me. And quickly, because soon, if things go the way they appear to be going, I'll be very, very hot. I'm sorry, Bird, but I need to find a way into the tower, and time the is running... The tower? The Azadi Tower? Big, white, cloud-piercing edifice? I know a way into the tower! A secret way! Get me out of this death trap, and I'll get you inside the tower, I swear on my hatchling nest! If you're lying, I'll snap your scrawny neck. Cross my beak and hope to die, which is a distinct possibility. Quickly now, that madman won't orate forever. Okay. But they are carriers of foul. Uh, come to witness the burning of the necromancer's minion, have you? And there's always room for one more witness. He should get involved. That's what they're here for. But there's the no sympathy for magical creatures. The only way to the world of magic is to burn it. Okay, burn what are we supposed to fire. do? The fire cleanses. The fire the destroys the contagion. The fire up. brings the light of goodness to us all. And we shall embrace it. This seems it. like an obvious target for sabotage. This seems like an obvious target for sabotage. Ah, oh no, Hillary's In this city, they have bathtubs for birds. The Northlanders are an odd folk. Okay, what are we supposed to do? Empty. Not surprising. Well, what about the other one? Empty. Not surprising. It's Rape Moon's Eve, sir, and you <laughs> appear to be uninebriated. For shame, public intoxication is practically mandatory this evening. You're in luck, sir. Most stalls have sat down for the evening, but we're open and will remain open until the very last bottle has been sold. Which, from my experience, won't be too long now. The discriminating Northlander knows we're a notch above the rest. No Southlands imports here, sir. These bottles are tapped in the Northlands with wine from the tart purple grape. Of I'm sure your wine is more than adequate, merchant. Oh. oh. Very well. What can I get you tonight, most sober of sirs? Perhaps you want to sample a bottle before you buy? I'll need more than a thimbleful. A bottle will serve me better. I'm not some barbarian choosing wine. I'll need more. I'm buying. Which way, sir? Um, Dragon's Fire, Mercurian Red, Dragon's Fire. Oh, that's no ordinary <coughs> wine. <coughs> that, sir, is a bottle of Dragon's Fire, fermented using the finest handpicked bottles in our collection, fortified with honey and. What's the price? <laughs> You don't want some proper background before you... How much? 125 silver coins, sir. What? No. I don't have that kind of coin. Well, it's between my stock and sobriety at this hour. That choice ought to make itself. Well then, let's see what else are... What's our other choices? Let's do the Mercurian Red. Mercurian Red. Plain spoken, but not particularly inspiring. Goat's Hollow Winery. I... Knit Dragon's Fire. They've even put a little fireball on the bottle. I'm not sure if that's an invitation or a warning. Purple Rose of the North. Purple Rose? This is supposed to be a wine. Grapes of the Nedra. I'm unfamiliar with this wine. Northland's Ruby. Any wine that begins with Hello the word again. Northland's Changed does not your mind, sir? enthusiasm. Do you perhaps want a little sampler? Uh, I'm not some barbarian. A small sample before I make my decision. Which wine, sir? Let's go with this one. Interesting. You want to sample the Dragon's Fire, 
our most potent wine, capable of reducing seasoned warriors to tears and bashful maidens to... I want to taste it now. As you please, sir. There you go, sir. Give that a smell, a swell, and a sip. Okay. Let's take it over here. Put it on here. Of witchcraft and wizardry. The wicked witch of the north. Death to magic. Death to magic rolls. I need a lot more for this to have any effect. Hmm. Have you finished sampling, sir? If so, please return the cup and we can commence our business. I'll need the cup back, sir. It's the only sampling cup I have. Well, let's see if we can get a mug. Filthy as sin, all of them. They reek of foul spirits and human sick. Welcome to each one's least filthy. No, they're all filthy. I feel unclean. God, stay away, can you, sir? Buy or sample? I'm not some... A small sample before I make my decision. Which wine, sir? This one. Interesting. You want to sample the Dragon's Fire, our most potent wine, capable of reducing seasoned warriors to tears and bashful maidens to... I want to taste it now. As you please, sir. A one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten. Odd. I don't remember the tasting cup being quite so expansive. <laughs> Now we have enough to do it. The wicked witch of the north! Death to magic! Death to magicals! This should be enough. Sounds like Hilaris is about to wrap up his mad ramblings. have lower intelligence, have wait less and compassion watch. and empathy than humans. It's a science, but enough talk! This bewinged demon, this symbol of sorcery, this affront to humanity, must burn. Uh, mm, must he? Uh, must is a very strong word. I'm not sure it's a word I use to... Burn, you transmogrified necromancer! Burn! Oh boy, here we go. the night. Right, party's over. Go on, all of you. Go home. Be with your families. Good job. And now, get me I, off this God. blazing bonfire! I need something long enough to reach the cage. Oh, of course. Now we have to find something to reach the cage with. I can still see flames. The flames are getting closer. You may want to, um. you know, a pitchfork. Yeah. 
There we go. Talk about cutting things close. I smell of singed plumage and smoke. So, were you lying to me about that secret entrance to the tower? No, I would never. Uh, well, I totally would. That would be just like me, lying to save my tail feathers. But I was actually telling the truth. I do know a way into the tower. From below. No, not making much of an impression on you. Okay, then. Follow me, big guy, and I'll lead you through the darkness into the light. The light, in this case, being the tower. More specifically, that weird pillar of dreamy light rising into the center of the tower with all the rotating metal bits. You mean, the engine? Is that what they call it? The weird thing with the gears and the levers and the metal what's-its? Then yes, the engine. What, you don't want to go there? Lead the way, bird. And fast. Crow. And I'm useful again. Okay, we follow Crow to the tower. Imbeciles? Amateurs? Don't they know who they're dealing with? Don't they know who I... Finally. What took you so long? I've been in here for days. You fool. How did you manage to get yourself locked up? Some people don't appreciate art. Come. You need to prepare the engine for the ritual. Uh, yes, Master. About bloody time. Home, sweet home. I'm sure you remember this place. I mean, you raided it and arrested everyone and directly contributed to closing it down for good. Remember? Yes, Bird, I remember. Good. Yeah, it's a far cry from how it looked back in those happy days. But I've nested here. It's not bad. Also, it's Crow. My name is Crow. What does this place have to do with the tower? Okay, right. So, there's a secret passage leading from the cellar into a ruined subterranean city below Mercuria. Both April and Zoe used it. I've been through there a few times myself. Purely for research purposes, of course. Not to look for treasure. Where's the cellar? Behind the bar and to the right. Okay, and we're going to enter the cellar and explore the tower in the next video. I hope you've been enjoying. If you have, maybe leave a like. Consider subscribing. Let me know what you're thinking. Leave a comment. And I will see you back in Dreamfall Chapters. Bye-bye for now.